So, I'm about to give you a little platinum nugget, a bite-sized chunk of knowledge that will help you excel through your exams. Now, when dealing with circle geometry problems, it's very important to follow the following steps. Before I tell you, let me give you a bit of background. Now, everyone knows what deja vu is. Deja vu is when you get there and it's an unfamiliar situation, but you get this weird feeling that, I swear I've been here before, or I swear I've seen that before. The opposite of that is called jamais vu. Jamais vu is when you get to a situation that you know in your head you should know what this is, but in the moment it seems very unfamiliar. Now in circle geometry what happens is, if you look at the diagram and then you read the question, it forms this mental block that just stops you from being able to fully break down all the parts of the problem and really get to the source of it all. So what I recommend you do is look at the diagram, mark all angles that are equal, extract as much information as possible without reading the question part which will normally be named A, B, C, D or whatever. Once you've gotten all the information possible, then proceed to read the question. And what you'll find is this little platinum nugget, this little bite-sized chunk of information will help you excel in your circle geometry. Try it. It works. I promise.